Hey guys and girls, in this video, we're going to take a look at the best laptop docking station. I have made my research and this list reflects my personal opinion, and I have listed products based on quality, durability, price, and more. I've included options for every type of consumer, so if you're looking for an entry-level option or the best product money can buy, we may have the product for you in this list. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. The products mentioned are in no exact order, so be sure to stay till the end so you don't miss anything. Also, if you want a chance to win one of the laptop docking station in the video, just subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell, and leave a comment with the hidden word in the video. We will pick a winner and notify him when we reach 5,000 likes. And don't forget to register with your email address on the page linked in the description so we can contact you if you win. Okay, so, without further ado, this is our pick of the best laptop docking stations on the market right now. Coming at number 6, we've got the Anker 563 USB-C docking station. The Anker 563 USB-C docking station packs 10 ports into a more familiar rectangle form factor. With triple monitor support and up to 100 watts of charging for connected laptops, it's a simple and effective way to add more ports to your laptop. Like the Satichi, it doesn't feature SD or micro SD slots, but it still has a lot to offer, especially for those who have a multi-monitor setup. There are two HDMI ports and a display port on the back, making it possible for a triple monitor setup. The caveat is, that you need to install DisplayLink software for everything to work properly if you own an M1 Mac. In addition to the multiple video outputs, the Anker 563 also includes an Ethernet port, a USB-A port, two USB 2.0 ports, a USB-C port, and a 3.5 meter audio in and out port. This is plenty of variety for most users, with both USB-A ports offering support for charging mobile devices. As solid as the Anker 563 is for a multi-monitor setup, not everyone may need that functionality. If that's the case, you're better off checking out one of Anker's many excellent USB-C hubs, which are often bus-powered and are much more portable than a docking station. Coming in at number 5, Satechi Dual Dock Stand. Satechi's Dual Dock Stand is noteworthy for a few reasons. It essentially has no footprint. It doubles as a laptop stand and it includes an NVMe SSD enclosure, making it easy to expand your laptop's storage. The dual dock stand sits neatly underneath the rear of your laptop, raising it at a more ergonomic angle for improved comfort. It also connects through dual USB-C connectors, which means you need a laptop with two USB-C ports on the same side. The dock has nine ports, including two HDMI 2.0 ports, two USB-C data ports, and two USB-A data ports. It features a premium aluminum design that perfectly matches the space gray of Apple laptops. As a result, it feels like a natural companion, effortlessly fitting in with Apple's clean, minimal aesthetic. While it looks like an accessory straight out of Apple's labs and is definitely the best laptop docking station for MacBooks, Satichi's dock is compatible with a handful of Windows laptops, including the Dell XPS 15. Before using the dual dock stand, one of the concerns I had was overperformance. Surely placing a laptop on top of a dock would cause temperatures to soar. The good news is the dock's multiple vents help keep temperatures down, even after an extended day of heavy use. Unless you push your computer to its limits for multiple hours throughout the day, you shouldn't have any issues with the dock getting too hot. We would have liked Satechi's dock to have an SD card reader. However, due to its size and port selection, it likely came down to a matter of space. Perhaps Satechi could have sacrificed one of the three display outputs. Despite this, the dock is an excellent option, delivering a clever design that extends your laptop's capabilities, and thanks to its SDD enclosure, it provides additional storage options, making it an even more versatile option. Coming at number 4, OWC Thunderbolt Go Dock. The OWC Thunderbolt Go Dock offers the perfect balance of features and portability for hybrid workers and remote creatives. 
With a built-in power supply, the docking station eliminates the bulky power brick that sits under your desk, giving you a more minimal setup you can easily transport to coffee shops and libraries. Although the primary function of a laptop docking station isn't to travel, it's nice that the option is available. The trade-off of the built-in power supply is the Go Dock is wide, so it takes up more desk space. This can be a problem for setups where space is a premium. I was worried it would be too big. It's 9.5 inches wide. But I had no problems fitting on my desk. It helps that the docking station boasts such a high-quality design with clean lines and well-spaced ports. At 209 pounds, it felt nice and anchored on my desk with rubber feet that helped it stay in place. The front of the Go Dock features an SD card reader, 3.5mm audio in, out, a USB 2.0 port, and a USB-C port that offers up to 10 Gbps. The right side of the dock features a Thunderbolt 4 port that connects to a host machine, providing 90 watts of output power. That's enough to charge even the largest and most powerful laptops. It charged my 14-inch MacBook Pro without any issues, even when performing more intensive tasks like video editing. It also features two more Thunderbolt 4 ports on the back, an HDMI 2.1 port with full HDR support, a 2.5 GB Ethernet port, two USB-A ports up to 10 Gbps, and a power plug. Meanwhile, it features a handy security slot, allowing you to keep the dock locked and secure. It doesn't feature as many ports as our top pick, but it isn't far behind when it comes to features and functionality. And the fact that it's more portable makes the Go Dock an excellent option for anyone who frequently works in different locations. Number 3. Satechi Thunderbolt. 4. Multimedia Pro Dock. Satechi's Thunderbolt 4 Multimedia Pro Dock can connect up to four external displays if the host laptop supports it. With two DisplayPort 1.4 and two HDMI 2.1 ports, users can create a productivity paradise, a capability that few docks can match. For more modest setups, you can just as easily connect one, two, or three monitors, mixing and matching with the available video ports on the back. My setup isn't quite so robust, but it's nice to have the option should I ever decide to add more monitors. Satechi's ProDock has a total of 16 ports, providing users with a plethora of connectivity options. The front features the host Thunderbolt 4 port, a 3.5mm headphone jack, SD and microSD card slots, one USB-A port, and a USB-A 2.0 port that supports 7.5 watt charging. It's a nice mix of options, although I'm not a fan of the host port being on the front. Not only does it make for an awkward setup, but it presents the albeit rare opportunity to accidentally knock the plug loose. On the back, you'll find the aforementioned video ports, a USB-C port, four USB-A ports, and an Ethernet port that supports speeds up to 2.5 GBBPs. That should be plenty of ports for most users. It was for me during my testing. Finally, the Pro Dock is capable of 96 watts of charging power which should be plenty for more power-hungry laptops. As a bonus, the Pro Dock comes with a vertical stand, allowing it to stand upright and save space on your desk. Coming at number two, OWC Thunderbolt Hub. The problem with the above-mentioned Thunderbolt docking stations is that they can be expensive. As good as the CalDigit TS4 is, its price is tough to stomach, especially for those on a budget. The OWC Thunderbolt Hub, however, is relatively affordable, and it's downright tiny compared to more robust models. But there are some major caveats. Namely, it only features five ports, limiting its versatility for users needing to connect multiple devices simultaneously. What you get is a compact dock that features four Thunderbolt 4 ports and one USB-A port. It supports up to two 4K displays at 60 Hz, or one 8K display at 30 Hz. One of the standout features of this hub is its support for daisy chaining. For example, you can connect up to six Thunderbolt devices in a chain through this hub, significantly expanding your connectivity options. While OWC's devices work particularly well with Apple devices, the dock works with both Mac and Windows. 
One other drawback is the dock only provides 60 watts of charging power. That's adequate for some machines, but may not be enough for more powerful laptops like the 16-inch MacBook Pro. In that situation, we recommend using the device's MagSafe charger instead. Despite its lack of ports and more traditional video output ports, such as HDMI and DisplayPort, the OWC Thunderbolt Hub is an ideal option for users looking for maximum performance and flexibility in a small, budget-friendly package. Number 1. CalDigit TS4 Thunderbolt 4 Dock The CalDigit TS4 is the closest thing to perfection we've found and is the best laptop docking station money can buy. It features 18 ports, 17 when the host device is connected, covering all your connectivity needs. The front of the TS4 provides easy access to six ports, a 3.5 mm or a combo in and out, a USB-A port, two USB-C ports, an SD card slot, and a micro SD card slot. The back includes an array of USB-A ports, Thunderbolt 4, audio ports, Ethernet, USB-C, and DisplayPort 1.4. This is all housed in a compact design that can be positioned vertically or horizontally. The docking station can deliver up to 98 watts to a laptop through the host Thunderbolt 4 port, potentially charging your laptop at full speed, depending on the model. My 14-inch MacBook Pro with an M1 Pro chip and had no issues with power. Additionally, the 20-watt USB-C port on the front allows for quick smartphone charging. The other various ports on the back can also charge devices, eliminating the need for an additional charging station on your desk. You can plug two monitors into the TS4, each supporting up to 6K resolution at 60 Hz. This means you could connect two Apple Pro Display XDR monitors. For a single monitor setup, the TS4 supports up to 8K resolution at 60 Hz. A more common setup might involve a 4K monitor, where the TS4 supports up to 144 Hz. The TS4 doesn't have an HDMI port, but don't fret if that's what you use for your current setup. You can use an active display port to HDMI adapter. That's what I did. In terms of performance, the TS4 handled multiple devices simultaneously without any issues. Even with a monitor, Ethernet, two external hard drives, an SD card, a tablet, and a phone plugged in at the same time, the speeds were nearly as fast as if they were connected directly to my laptop. All things considered, if you rely on multiple peripherals to get work done, the TS4 will give you the ultimate setup. That brings us to the end of our review and buyer's guide for the best laptop docking stations. Hope to see you in the next video. Let us know in the comments what is your favorite one. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and get notified when we launch new videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.